All right, so new box came in the mail. Something that we have to take a look at here. Uh, diagnostic box, security electronic systems tester. And it came at the right time. My old trusty key that's lasted me for quite a while um, has uh, taken a spill or two. I still get unlocked most of the time, lock not so often. And so what I'm gonna do here today is we're going to replace this guy with this guy. New one, no need for the remote start, but I have the extra key here. So we're gonna put this thing to the test and see whether or not it will actually work okay on the truck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop that into the ignition, turn the key on on, it's not gonna be happy, but we'll get this thing plugged in, just as a DLC cable. I've never used this tool, by the way, so I'm winging this completely. I was supposed to call these guys and tell them when I received the tool and they were going to give me instructions, but the way I see it is, if I could do this without instructions, I'd be really happy. Oh, that does some cool stuff on the screen there, doesn't it? Except it doesn't look like that in real person, or in life, real life, I should say. So, oh, it makes music. Alright, so we'll hit Diagnostics, North America, let's find our car. And we're just going to use a Dodge. We'll make it a Grand Caravan today. Oh, CV cargo van. There we go. It does have it. All right. Key coding. Yep. It's 13. Fabic System 1. So far, it's identified everything right. All right. Now a read pin. Boom. Done instantly. So I'm going to come down here to Program Key. That's it? I didn't even have to re-enter it? <laughs> no way. Hit OK. Let's see. I heard the chime. Let's see here. Man, it's programmed already. And we're up and running. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. How easy was that? All right, so. Diagnostic box. All right, let's look for this in some upcoming videos. And uh, man, was that fast! <laughs> All right, I can retire the old bad boy and maybe keep him to the side there for just in case of an emergency. But uh, not having a lock and unlock features certainly not something I want to have on an everyday basis. So look forward to this and some uh, some videos coming soon. Take care.